Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 17th of 2025 is titled Ida and Dactyl, Asteroid and Moon. So, what do we see here? Well, this is the asteroid known as 243 Ida, and the naming of an asteroid gives the number, which is the order of its discovery, and then the name, if such a name has been given. Now, asteroids are named, or at least names are suggested, by the person who first discovers that asteroid. And once approved by the International Astronomical Union, that would then say that is the official name of this asteroid. Now, we see it here. This was actually the second asteroid to be imaged up close. Now, we discovered asteroids back in 1801, and the object known as Ceres, which is now classified as a dwarf planet, was originally the first asteroid to be detected, although at first it was actually thought it was maybe a new planet existing between Mars and Jupiter. But from Earth, all we can see for asteroids is them as points of light. We can't see any features on them. So the only ones we can study up close are those that we fly by. And these were imaged by the Galileo spacecraft back in 1993. And it was on its way out to Jupiter. Now, to get to Jupiter from Earth, you have to travel through the asteroid belt. So the decision was made to see if there were a couple of asteroids that were right uh, relatively close to the flight path that would not require any major deviations and give us a chance to get an up-close look at some asteroids at the same time that we're heading out towards Jupiter. And Ida was one of the two that was selected, and actually the second of the two. And it's very interesting in that it was found to have a moon. Now, in terms of sizing, the Ida is about 60 kilometers by 25 kilometers, so it's not a spherical object. That would be, what, about 35 kilometers by about 15-ish uh, miles? And that would be roughly the, the sizes of the larger object, the moon itself is only about 1.6 kilometers, only about a mile or so across. So it's relatively tiny. And where did it come from? Well, it could have been a smaller bit of debris captured. It might have been something that was released in an impact on Ida due to another object striking it, and maybe something that hit with just not enough force to allow it to escape but instead ended up being trapped in orbit around the larger asteroid. Now, this was the first asteroid discovered to have a moon, but certainly not the last. There are a lot of asteroids now that are known to have moons, so they are not very rare. So we'll be, it helps us to be able to understand perhaps what the process is. It has to be something that's relatively easy that will occur often to give us these moons because they do not seem to be a rare event. They seem to be present around a lot of asteroids. So that was our picture of the day for October 17th of 2020. It was titled Ida and Dactyl, Asteroid and Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be 3D. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.